Hello, my Trekkies, how are you? It's Sean Ferrick here for Trek Culture. And I am here to bring you a little bit of news today. Eugene Rod Roddenberry, son of, is working on a biopic for his father. Now, as you may or may not know, on the 19th of August, 2021, Gene Roddenberry would have celebrated his 100th birthday. Now, there was lots of tributes and cheers floating all over social media for the man, including a lovely song from Robert Picardo, and of course, a lovely cheers from yours truly. But obviously, Gene Roddenberry himself passed away back in 1991, following a long battle with illness. Now, a biopic has been confirmed, first reported by Deadline and then set in stone when it was reported by Variety as well. Now we're living in a golden age of documentaries and stories about Star Trek. So this is potentially gonna be really, really exciting. Now it's very, very early days because they're still looking for a cast and crew and everything for this, which means we are still waiting on the initial confirmation that I will be playing Gene. But until that comes through, it's literally anybody's game. Now, this is not the first time, of course, that Rod Roddenberry has made a documentary about his father. Trek Nation was made back in 2010, and it's a very interesting deep dive into the history of his dad. And in a way, it's, it's both stark watching, but seriously, seriously interesting. Gene Roddenberry was he was a complicated figure. He was by no means one thing or another. He was not perfect. He did many things wrong in his life. However, he also did an awful lot of good and is of course one of the minds that gave us Star Trek. Now a lot of credit must also go to Gene L. Kuhn and of course Robert Justman who are both instrumental in bringing us Star Trek as we know it today. But it is also hard to overstate the importance of Gene Roddenberry on all of our lives, all of us who enjoy Star Trek. He himself was a soldier during World War II. He became a commercial airline pilot. He survived two plane crashes. He saved many, many lives. You know, the man, the man is fascinating. And to see a biopic of his life, I am 100% here for that. I would love to see what they do with his story. Of course, I'd love to see who they get to play all the main players, because I can't imagine a biopic of Gene wouldn't include the story of Majel Barrett, of course, Rod Roddenberry, and if we're talking about early days Star Trek, we've got to see who's playing William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, DeForest Kelly, the rest, and of course, maybe a bit of a cheeky Jeffrey Hunter in there, <coughs> and Sun Mount. We already know you can play Pike, but can you play Hunter? There are a lot of documentaries and stories about Star Trek going around at the moment. Of course, there is Chaos on the Bridge, which is just an incredible watch. And it's, it's so interesting to see that in a way, absolutely everything was stacked against the next generation before it made it to air. And even when it started airing, then of course there is the, <laughs> The loving, if a little bonkers documentaries, Trekkies and Trekkies 2. And yet to the outside eye, Trekkies can be a bit um, intense. But also to those of us who understand wanting to sit there and cosplay, wanting to just spend time with others, you know, we get it. We get it. There's many, many, many breakdowns. William Shatner, in fairness, has been great for keeping a lot of these stories going. So there is an awful lot to digest about Star Trek, but where would we be without the man who is most directly responsible for getting everything going back at the beginning? Gene Roddenberry died in 1991, so he's passed away 30 years ago now. And yet in every single episode of Star Trek, his name is still there, either in a based upon, or of course, we're still doing reruns and thanks to Netflix, you know, the original series and Next Gen is as present today as it was then. So he's still very much in the minds. So finding out more about this character, about what made him tick, and of course, what inspired what is, in my opinion, the greatest sci-fi franchise of them all, I cannot tell you how excited I am to see this. Now we will go absolutely insane when it comes to speculation. Who's gonna play the part? Who's gonna be this? Who's gonna be that? What are they gonna do? Is it gonna be a straight, I am born, I grow up kind of documentary, or are we gonna kick off on the set of The Cage or The Menagerie as it was originally known? Who knows? 
What are your speculations? Make sure to drop it into the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember that you can catch us over on Twitter at Trek Culture. You can catch myself at Sean Ferrick over on the usuals as well. Now you look after yourself until I see you again. We will bring you all of the news as it comes, fresh and steaming and hot. You live long and prosper. And thanks for dropping by.